I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. And I still have my lovely guest here with me, LaShonda Williams, from the Missouri Veterans Home in St. James, Missouri. You're welcome. And we're going to finish talking to you about what we talked about in the previous um, session, and that was about traveling safety for part one. So this is part two. So we're going to talk to you about what to do if you're in a shopping mall or in a large store. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to cover our head, we're going to get down low, and we're going to try not to panic. Well, remember we didn't have nowhere to go except you found Sonic for your cheese sticks. <laughs> I, I did. We you did, did know, ex yeah. <laughs> We exit off of the highway, and when I'm like stressed and I'm panicked, I get the munchies. Yep. So we exit off and we actually stopped and we had a half a tank of gas. So we <laughs> refilled up because we didn't know what was going to be ahead of us. Her family was calling. My <laughs> family was calling. We were still getting in touch with Lori and checking, you know, with Drake. Drake was awesome, keeping in contact with us the whole step of the way. And we exit off and we were getting the gas and the lady came out that was the attendant and she said, our siren just went off. Mm -hmm. And we just looked at each other and we're like, ooh, we made it through this exit. Yes. So I asked her, I said, you want to get an ice cream? And she's like, I don't need ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked up and yay, there was a Sonics. So mind you, we have tornadoes all around <laughs> us. And I'm wanting to go through the drive through because I got munchies. And I believe I got a Coke and cheese sticks. Yep. And we get back on the highway, and she's just studying like this, and I'm munching away. And it's just like, you want a cheese stick? And she's like, no, I'm driving. I'm getting to where we're but going. But you have to admit, though, we did meet some incredible people on our journey. We actually, we actually so God did. put us in that spot for a reason. We did. Because um, we, I, met, we met veterans. We met, like, we always we met did. CNAs. We did. You know, just um, amazing. It, it was an awesome um, weekend. And um, we are very blessed every time we go. We get to network yes. with CNAs. We get to meet um, veterans. And yes. it's like when you're in emergency type situation, it's like you, your eyes can shift and you can focus on something that stands yeah, something out and that, you connect. It kind of takes you away from the nervousness yeah. from the... It did. Yeah, it and really we nice. actually met... Um, a younger couple, I believe they were trying to get to Chicago, Illinois. Well, their son was going to be graduating from the Navy. He was going yeah. to be graduating. So they wanted to get there. And they, it was just awesome. It was just amazing. They were from, they were actually from Texas, West Texas. Yeah. So I kind of talked to them a little bit about that. So, yeah. so it, it was, I mean, it was a bad situation, but we made it positive yes. the whole time we yes. were there. So um, if you're caught in a church or a theater... Again, you do not want to panic. Um, move quickly and orderly. Um, get into a bathroom or in the hallway, but don't panic so bad that you are actually knocking the people over in front of you and yes. causing harm, yes. harm to them. And then you want to crouch face down, protect your head um, with your arms, and if there's no time um, to you know, to remove out of the area that you're in, get under a seat or a church pube yeah. and always protect um, your head. And something else that um, LaShondra and I was talking about is I knew kind of what to do, like if we ever got caught in a tornado yes. at our facility, but I never really stop to think about what if you're on if the road out, yes. or if you're out somewhere else. And being um, cautious about your surrounding, I think that's what really panicked us, us the most. We didn't know. You know, we had mm -mm. such long period of times before it was even an exit, you know, for us to find anything, anywhere to stop. 
Yeah. If it had been a Walmart, maybe we would have been good. <laughs> we could have did grocery shopping. I know, we could have had a fun time. <laughs> we wouldn't have had Sonics, not my right. cheese sticks, but we could have did some shopping and some got some other personal items. Yes. And then another thing we want to touch base is is after a tornado. Yeah. What's some of the things that you think we ought to... Well, you always want to stay together, mm -hmm. you know, and then wait for... If you need emergency, you know, you wait for them and, yeah. you know, just stay away from power lines. Yeah. Help help someone else that need maybe got injured or anything, right. you know. And then one thing that um, when I was we was doing the research and stuff was watch your step. And mm -hmm. that's something that it never crossed my mind is... When you go to your basement mm -hmm. and your home, and a lot, I just wonder how many children and older adults do not take the time to put proper footwear on. Yes. And I guess that's where Watch Your Step comes into play because, you know, you have houses, they, they're going to have um, metal. Yes. There's going to be um, glass and everything that, you know, you can potentially step on and cause mm -hmm. injury. And then please do not use no matches or lighters. So both of us will save because yeah, neither we one don't of have us are smokers. <laughs> <laughs> and then really just try to um, remain calm, alert, um, listen for the information and instructions from um, the emergency crew. But um, other than that, um, try to save, stay, uh, stay safe and uh, make sure that uh, your phone is completely charged because that's something both of us made sure oh, yeah, that we, we kept, were able yes. to reach out and everything. And then um, that's it, unless you have anything to, oh, that's pretty to add. Um, back to the, the part one, I failed to mention what we were doing in Oklahoma. Oh, yes. That totally yes. just, you know, it wasn't a girl's retreat or anything. We were actually at... A care providers, um, kind of like a spring fling. It was a trade show. Yes. And we were down there with Samantha Maddox and Sheena Bumpus and um, Jeff Wellman. And we had um, a good time. Yes. Jeff was one of the speakers. And um, you did the Alzheimer's yes, the, thing. Yes, the virtual tour. That was really amazing. That yeah. was really eye-opening, you know. Good, so. good. So, um, that's all I have. Um, I appreciate you being here on well, the show. Thank you for and having me. Maybe you'll come back later and, and, and join me. And uh, remember that until then, you matter. <laughs>